when you come to Solent, we are already teaching on the new 2018 standards for um, educational standards from the NMC. Uh, lots of universities are transitioning to those new standards. Um, and we will have our first graduates on those new standards coming out this year in um, June of 2021. Now, the good thing about this is that uh, the NMC have looked at it and they've developed something called a skills passport that goes along with your normal placement and your normal theory. And what that means is all the skills that we used to do were considered extra as nursing or additional skills like cannulations, you know, catheterizations, uh, chest auscultation, all those things that used to be extra skills that only some nurses had. These new standards that the NMC have put out that we are teaching at Solent means you will graduate with those skills already. And you'll also graduate ready to be a practice supervisor in practice. So you'll be able to supervise student nurses from the moment you qualify. Now, there's going to be about a four or five year transition period why each university in the country kind of transitions to those new standards and people in practice get used to people having that skill set when they qualify but the good thing about us Solon is we transitioned at the earliest point that we could do which was before the pandemic um, and our first graduates will come out on that new new standards and new skills um, this year which we're really proud of and then you coming to Solent with us you will be a part of that and we would already been te teaching it now for a couple of years by the time you arrive with us so rather than the new standards be new to some universities you'll have us who've already you know found out the best way to apply that teaching and to help you learn and get the most out of it and that's really exciting and we're really proud that we're able to roll be one of the country universities to roll that out first across the country. One of the things about Solent is that uh, we've got a brand new skills lab. It's, it's, it's just over two and a half years old now. Uh, we've got a six bedded ward um, with two high fidelity simulation mannequins which can uh, scream, shout, wee, poo, vomit. Uh, they have heartbeats, they have lung sounds, you can feel their pulses, you can take their blood pressure. Um, we can program them um, and we can talk by the microphone with them for you. And then we've got a GP room, a consultation room, we've got a nurse clinic room and we've got a care home uh, room which so it's all set out so you would see how to nurse in those different areas and the idea of the skills lab is that's your safe space that's the space where you can come in you know and really just practice you know your trade what you're learning and things and it's a way where you can make the mistakes because you can make the mistakes in there in a safe environment and that helps you learn in the future and it's you know it's, it's a place where you can if you find something in practice and you think oh, i really would like to have a go with that more before i do it in real life and um, then it's so we can have time in the skills lab to do it and then we're lucky to have mental health nurses and also the training nurse associates so actually we can do something called integrated practice learning within the skills and you can do it across together so you learn things um, that will help you know that you because you'll be working together in practice so it's, why not teach you in practice when it comes to the skills because you're all doing the same stuff and that's a real selling point for Solon because that's that's where the fun is the real real kind of hands-on part and a lot of people that come to Solon are hands-on practical people and that's important to make sure you use every learning opportunity within that environment. Going on to placements is always a big question for people. It's 50% of your practice um, learning and it's a really good thing about nursing because most people that come to nursing, you know, they, it's, it's on the job. I have a previous experience while having a go that what we want to do. Now, the Nursing Briefly Council state that you should have five um, key areas of experience in placements and those five areas are um, geriatrics so sort of uh, care of the older person you'll have a medical experience in, in hospital usually surgical experience in hospital a community experience so out in the communities gp surgeries district nurses um, and then you'll have a high dependency experience so kind of a and e or intensive care and things now what we do with each student is we draw like a placement line so we'll do a line throughout your three years of us and you have nine placements at Solon, so you have nine experiences and we'll make sure that you get the five variety but also because we do three placements a year rather than two placements a year which some other universities do two placements it means you're going to get those four extra experiences as well um, and the idea of that is that by the time you get towards qualifying you have some idea of what you want to do within nursing and nursing is a vast you know a vast um, occupation where you there's lots of lots of different types of jobs that you can do but also you might not at the end of it but at least what you've done is you've taken the good experiences and practices from where you've been and you'll be able to apply it to your learning and to your you know your first ever nursing job the other thing that's quite important is nursing is is nursing people through their lifespan and their lifetime and obviously people don't you know they access community they access different ser different services across the you know the nhs and private sector and by having those experiences you'll get to see what that 
journey is like and therefore when you're referring or you're accepting people from different areas and things you really do understand what that service does and what other patients you know what they've been through and it helps you really em provide better empathy um, and support for that patient because you can give them some real life insight to where they've been and where they've come from and where they might go and that's what we're trying to do is give you that variety so you can really understand what nursing is and what kind of nurse you'd like to be when you first become qualified.